Hey YouTube, Crystal 21 here, and I have something that I really, really, really need to say. Something that very, that really, really pisses me off when someone has thinks they have a very good binder, gives me good stuff. They always have one card, one card that they think will be good. Um. And this card really, really pisses me off when they put it on their wants list. And that card is Infernity Barrier. Why? Because stuff you put in your description, it's like as your wants because you put them in the description, will be tagged when you search up for Infernity. And I look for Infernities every single day, hoping I will find Infernity Mirage in one of those trade binders but every single day I look trade binder trade binder trade binder click on it before I even watch the video I look in the description to see if they have a frame barrier on their wants list and I always go why the fuck do you have it on your wants list it is a not that card is not wanted who plays infernities that card should not be thirty dollars anymore infernities yes Infernity Barrier is good, but you have to play it, you have to play Infernities. In any other deck, it will be shit. Because you have to have no cards in hand, then you have to have an Infernity Monster in Attack Mode. So therefore, you cannot use it. So why is it on your wants list? Is Stray Bait? Mm, only reason people want it? So they can either sell it or trade it because they think, oh, this it's a furry berry. Of course it's a good card. It's not that good anymore. Why? Because if you look at the Japanese uh, world qualifier, that furry deck ran one barrier. Bear just isn't that good anymore because of warning, the conditions. All the stuff you can do to stop it. Um, there's just so much stuff that you have to do. I mean, also, playing break is a little bit better right now. One reason um, barrier was better than break before was because of priority. And they could still get their effect on. You use break, they don't get their priority. So, I mean, this card's easier to get. Run three of these, one one barrier, you're good to go. Barrier should not be at thirty dollars. Thumbs up if you agree with me, um, because I just get trolled by Infernity Barrier. Because honestly, you can look up Infernity Barrier and see how many people actually have one in their binder. No one has it. Why? Because no one wants it. There's very few people that actually want an Infernity Barrier. And the people that do are really, really wanting the reprint. Why? Because no one's wanting to trade it. Because it's like, as soon as there's a reprint, people are going to be desperate to get rid of their Secret Rares. Because as soon as it comes out, it's going down about $5 for the Secret Rare. It's that simple. And I don't get why Konami hasn't made a reprint yet with their new Infernity cards coming out. There are two new big boss monster friends. Um, don't know why they have. I think they're. I think they're coming out in the next few sets. I don't really remember why, because I don't really like their. I like the. Um, I like um, the standard friends a little bit more. Uh, I may play around with them and look at different versions of it, but I don't know why they haven't made the reprint yet. To me, that is like. A card that won't go down in price because people are always going to say it's an burning barrier. It's a good card. No, no, it's not. Why? Because all you're doing is negating and destroying an effect, which we have a fed veil for that. We have, now we have chalice for that, um, and both of those have less condition, have no conditions. The only condition for a fed veil has to be in the main phase. Of your opponent's turn. 
That's the only condition. Um, so, yeah. The Frank Barrier isn't that good of a car. People can run it at one. You could run it at two. Running at three is still good for a pure infernity deck. And by pure, I mean you run one grappler, one arm again, night, and one side you. But people are branching out. I, I've seen some pretty interesting infernity builds. Some that didn't even involve the loop. Um, there's beetle builds and all that that only run one or two um, infernity barriers. The card isn't as broken as it used to be. So why is it still $30? And I'm running on this for two reasons. One, it pisses me off when people put it on their wants list. And that card shouldn't be on their wants list unless they're making infernities. Which I am. Ah. Okay. But it shouldn't be on. Um, because no one's no one's really building infernities anymore. The card it was good when infernities were good. How many formats ago? Uh, I think that was the same as um Ed Sabers. Ed Sabers infernities were in the same format that were they're both boss. Um, yeah. Who who, who honestly thinks? Infernity Barrier is worth $30 anymore. The only reason you think that is because you have one and you don't want to lose money on it. Which is understandable. You have to understand, the card price goes down when the demand goes down. Why? Because that means people don't want it. So therefore, to get rid of it, you have to decrease the price. Supply and demand, supply and demand, remember it. It's just a simple business, and Yu-Gi-Oh is a business, whether you like it or not. Yes, it's a hobby, but it, you can turn that hobby into a business very easily. A lot of people do it. A lot of people don't. A lot of people just have it as a hobby and trade a few things to get they want or buy what they want. Um, and that's it. Um, so yeah, this is Crystalline Twenty One. If you know so, if you um put a brain barrier on your wants list. If you're not doing it for a collection, there's no point. No one's going to want it, except for maybe a free player. And then they're not going to want it for $30. They're going to want it for maybe 20 if it's first set. I know I don't value it at 30 I won't buy it for 30 I will wait out for the reprint. Because it's ridiculous. That card isn't good anymore. No one's playing. No, there are very few people playing in front of these anymore. No one really wants it anymore because it is a stupid card that is thirty dollars. If you agree with me that Furry Bear is not worth thirty dollars, thumbs up please. Support me on this. Um just so I can make if I find someone that wants that's willing to trade like it's not worth thirty dollars and see how many people thumbs up. So yeah this Crystalline twenty one please help me with not help me, help Everyone that, you no, know, just help the community be smarter. Frame Barry is not worth $30. It's just not. And if you think it is, just learn business. Supply and demand, supply and demand. It's Christian 21.